Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe and explain the effect of temperature on enzymes. And if you're following the OCR spec, then you should be able to explain what's meant by the temperature coefficient. In the last video, we started looking at the rate of enzyme-controlled reactions. We saw that the rate depends on the frequency of successful collisions between the substrate and the active site of the enzyme. And remember that the word frequency means the number of collisions per second. We can calculate the rate of an enzyme-controlled reaction by plotting the amount of product formed against time. We then draw a tangent at the point of the reaction that we're interested in. So in this video, we're looking at the effect of temperature on the rate of an enzyme-controlled reaction. To investigate this, we select an enzyme and then measure the amount of product formed with time. We then repeat this using a range of different temperatures. Then we draw tangents to measure the rate of reaction at each temperature. And it's important that we draw the tangent at the same time point for each of the reactions. OK, I'm showing you some sample results here. Each of these graphs represents the same enzyme-controlled reaction, but in each case we've changed the temperature that the reaction takes place at. As you can see, as we increase the temperature up to 40 degrees Celsius, then we increase the rate of the reaction. However, if we increase the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius, then we get a different result, which I'm showing you here. As you can see, at 50 degrees Celsius, the reaction is now much slower. And at higher temperatures than this, the enzyme may not function at all. This graph shows the effect of temperature on the rate of an enzyme-controlled reaction, and I'd strongly recommend that you learn the shape of this graph. As we saw before, the rate increases as we increase the temperature. This is because we're increasing the kinetic energy of both the enzyme and the substrate. Because they're moving more rapidly, the chance that the substrate will collide with the active site increases and this increase in the frequency of collisions between the substrate and the active site causes the rate of reaction to increase. At a certain temperature, the reaction rate is at its maximum. This is called the optimum temperature. At the optimum temperature, we have the maximum frequency of collisions between the substrate and the active site. For human enzymes, the optimum temperature is around 40 degrees Celsius. However, the enzymes in other organisms can have a different optimum temperature. For example, in the bacteria living in hot springs, their enzymes can have an optimum temperature around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. As the temperature increases past the optimum, the rate of reaction decreases. This is because at higher temperatures, the enzyme molecules are vibrating more rapidly. These vibrations cause bonds within the enzyme, such as hydrogen bonds, to break. Because of this, the tertiary structure of the enzyme molecules begins to change. As the shape of the active site changes, there comes a point where it's no longer complementary to the substrate. Now the substrate can no longer fit into the active site. At this point, the enzyme has denatured and no longer functions. Now one thing you need to understand is that when an enzyme denatures due to high temperatures, it cannot renature if we cool it back down. That's because its tertiary structure has been changed so much that it cannot be reversed. Now if you're following the OCR spec, then you need to understand the idea of the temperature coefficient, which is also called Q10. The temperature coefficient looks much more difficult than it actually is. The idea is that you measure the rate of reaction at a certain temperature, for example 20 degrees Celsius. You then measure the rate again at a temperature which is 10 degrees Celsius higher. In this case that would be 30 degrees Celsius. The temperature coefficient is simply the rate of reaction at the higher temperature divided by the rate of reaction at the lower temperature. Generally, what we find is that if we increase the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius, the rate of an enzyme-controlled reaction doubles. This means that Q10 usually has a value of around 2. However, this does not apply above the optimum temperature, and that's because at this point, the enzymes denature. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe and explain the effect of temperature on enzymes. 